Hey guys, I'm Rival. Welcome back to the channel. We have SummerSlam this week, and therefore, we get the SummerSlam series inside of my faction. We get some new packs, we get some new cards. For inside of the pack, we have 15 total cards. The Diamonds being Gunther, Braun Breaker, Indy Hartwell, Sensational, Sherry for the Amethyst. We have Nikita Lyons, Terry Funk. We have Brett the Hitman Hart. We have Chelsea Green, Molly Holly. For the Rubies, we have Dakota Kai, Ultimate Warrior, Honky Tonk Man. We get a JD McDonough, Axiom, Randy Orton. And I believe that is it. That is it. And then, of course, all the Superstar Series 2 cards you're seeing, they are in every pack going forward. Up until we do get a Series 3, in which we never got one last year. Will it happen this year? I don't know. I don't know. Now, for the pack price, for the box, we have 392000 Sign me up. Purchase with my faction points. That's going to be the next video. This video is just going over the content. Five likes, five people putting me over on this video. I'm going to upload it tonight. Only if we reach the goal, though. Only if we reach the goal. Then we go over the Deluxe 10 box, 206.9 or the 186.2, the basic box. And then for the singles, Deluxe 21,800 or 19,600 for the pack odds. In these deluxe, 5% for a diamond, 7 for an amethyst, 10 for a ruby, and so on. Still a less than 2% chance for those oddity cards. They're so tough to get. For the basics, 3% for a diamond, 3 for an amethyst. I mean, a 2% difference for a diamond. Hmm. I wonder how the basic packs are. If you open any basic packs, let me know. I've had terrible luck with them this year. Terrible. For the diamond solo Sokoa collection set reward you do have to pick up all four diamonds in the pack that is tough that is tough and then outside that you need one amethyst in a nikita lines we take a look at the solo sokoa he's got incredible badges solo if you were with me last year guys solo was my mvp the reason he was my mvp last year dude he was a stun beast and he had that heavy-handed. He actually had the Magical Trio last year, I like to call it. He's got it again this year. A top-level badge and heavy-handed. He then has a level 3 sting like it be level 2 Merciless Opportunist. If you find a card with all three of these, they do a lot of damage. And then also on top of that, a top-level badge of Wet Blanket. He's going to be incredible again this year. Top level badge of going to not level 3 Slippery Eel. Level 1 on the energi uh, Energetic Opportunist for the Payback Resiliency. And then the Attributes. Looking as though 93 Arm Power, 87 Leg, 82 Grapple, 87 Running Offense, a Spinning Heel Kick is uh, complete cheese against the computer. Online, like, they're going to counter you and then you look like an idiot on the ground. But against the computer, the spinning heel kick is pretty freaking awesome. Pin escape of a 93. They are hyping the, uh, he's not my tribal chief, but he's, you know, that's his title right now. So I'm not going to call him that. But I I mean, he's he's got tribal chief attributes and badges. I ain't going to lie. He's got tribal chief attributes and badges. He does. So I want him. Now we take a look at the rest of the cards. We got to take a look at all the badges, the attributes, the paybacks. I do value badges over anything. I really do. At a 92 diamond, you know the attributes are going to look good, but are the badges good? And the answer is yes. He's got the magical trio. You know what I was just talking about? Heavy-handed, merciless, thing like it be all a level 3. He's got level 2s on Space Invader, all the answers, and then we take it to the top. Top level badges, level 4 on Slippery Eel and Wet Blanket. He's got Resiliency as a payback. 92 arm power, 82 on the leg. I'm liking how he's looking. He's got good reversal numbers. I don't know though, man. Like, I feel like you're either going to counter it or you're not, regardless of the attribute. Is the window going to be a little bigger? Yeah. But still, I don't know. That's just my take. 92 pin escape, 87 strength. A little slow with the 66s, but hey, he is a powerhouse. He's got 82 recovery, 87 special, 92 on the finisher. It is a really good looking card. Me personally, I haven't liked Gunther cards. I don't know. I think it's a moveset thing. I don't think I like his moveset, maybe. We take a look at this 91 diamond, Braun Breaker. He might be taking down Sami Zayn for that title at SummerSlam. I think he wins it. He's got a top level badge, Sting Like a Bee, and Pain Train. Level 3, Energetic Opportunist, Swiftness, and Going and Hot. Level 2, Rabble Rouser. Level 1, Slippery Eel. Did I mention the top level badge for Pain Train? That's sick. Resiliency as a payback and the attributes for a diamond again. They're going to look great, man. And they do. 85s on arm power and running offense. But his arm power might be up uh, maybe a, a tad. Maybe just a tad. Durability looks great. 85s across. 
We keep going down. 90 on the strength. Let's go. 85 on the speed. He is really fast. Have you seen the guy run the ropes? 85 recovery. 85 special. 91 on the finisher. Good looking card. We move on to Indy Hartwell. That's a new picture. Thank you. I like that. Level 3 Lionheart going to not die. Bomber. Level 2 Merciless. Thing like being Pain Train. Resiliency as a payback. I like Indy Hartwell this year uh, with her being a striker last year. A high flyer. Attributes looking as so. 87 on the running offense. That stands out. Keep going down. 87's on all of the durabilities on the pin escape. 90's on the stamina, speed, and agility. Very nice. 72 special, 80 finish. Or a little lower there, but she's got a 94 recovery. Another good looking diamond. We move on to Sensational Sherry. Look at these badges. Not bad. Top level, all we see it coming in Dive Bomber. Level 3, Space Invader. She's got a level 2 Rabble Rouser, so 3 taunts. You get a finisher, level 2 Sting Like a Bee, level 1, all the answers. Resiliency as a payback, so we're seeing resiliency on all of them. I love that. And then for the attributes looking as so here, anything stand out? 91's on special and finisher, okay. We move on to Kita Lions. We move on to her Amethyst. She's got resiliency, cool. Level 3 going to not Sting Like a Bee, Rabble Rouser. Another good looking card. This one has heavy handed. Just a level 1. But still, she's got it. Level 1 Slippery Eel. For the attributes on this Nikita Lines, 75 on power submission offense. That is very good. It really is 81 on arm power, leg power, running offense. She's a striker here. That's, uh, that's much better. I like that. 69 agility. A little slow, but 88 recovery, 81 special, 88 on the finisher. And again, she is a striker. When I clicked on the card, I thought she was a powerhouse. We take a look at the badges on this Terry Funk. Of course, he's got Weapon Master, level 3. He's got level 3 Merciless, Opportunist, Demolition Man, level 2 Endurance and Sting Like a Bee, Resiliency as a Payback. I see an Amethyst or higher without it. I'm like, ugh. I kind of hate it. I like having the bailout. But sometimes, you know what? Rage, Rage I do like. Um, there's some, there's some other good paybacks. Power of the Punch, even low blow if it's no DQs. Uh, Terry Funk, he, he looked all right, man. We move on to Brett the Hitman Hart. He's got Dirty Trickster, Space Invader, level 3s. Level 2 Sting Like be level 1 Wet Blanket. Resiliency as a payback. We got a Technician here. Probably our least favorite when it comes to the match actions. His attributes looking as so. Next up, we have Chelsea Green. Badges looking as so. Level 3 on Sting Like B, Rabble Rouser, level 2 Swiftness, level 1 on the Slippery Eel. We got Resiliency as a payback. And then her attributes looking as so. Recovery 80 Special, 85 on the finisher. Another striker in Chelsea Green. We move on to Molly Holly. We got 15 cards to look at. 16 if we include Solo Sokoa. Resiliency, badges, attributes. I'll try and speed this up a little bit. Dakota Kai. Another striker. We get a Ruby here. And she's got unscathed. Point that out. Also level 3 sting like it'd be level 2 pain train. She's got level 1 second wind. Now we move on. No resiliency anymore. Because resiliency only on 85 overalls and higher. So she's going to have freeze. Which is pretty cool. Freeze and Fireball. They just look cool, I think. Really enjoy those. And then her attribute. She is very quick. Uh, 94 on the speed. Very nice. For Dakota Kai. We move on. Uh, five more cards here. The rest of them are Ruby's Ultimate Warrior. Really cool picture on this card. Sting like a bee. Slipper Eel. Pain Train. Level 2s. I like the picture. And also, I did not even mention the SummerSlam card design as a whole i like it it's pretty um i feel like they have a template for the pay-per-views so it's pretty on par with other pay-per-views that we've seen but i do like it we move on we have honky tonk man badges not bad honestly thing like v rattle rouser he's got low blow his attributes we move on we'll fly through the rest jd mcdonough his badges his payback he's got freeze and then for his attributes 84 on the grapple, 90 on the running, 96 agility, 90 speed. What the heck? He's actually like a decent looking Ruby. Wow. We move on to Axiom. Badges. Payback of comeback. His attributes. Looking as so. And the last and final card, Randy Orton. Let's go. He gets a Ruby card. Sting like it be Rabble Rouser level 2. All we see it coming. All the answers level 1. He's got Rage as a payback. And then his attributes are looking as so. That is all 16 
of the SummerSlam cards. Again, 15 inside the set. And then for the collection set reward for this one, you need these five to get that Diamond Solo, who looks pretty freaking good. He's a powerhouse rather than a striker. That's interesting. All right, now we flip over to the live events. The live events today that went live, pretty incredible. They are tied to the DLC reward, so you need the Pat McAfee, the Darius Butler, the AJ Hawk for the six-man tag. But this is a really, really good live event. We click on this Braun Strowman. He is the only reward tied behind this, so you win once, you get this Diamond Braun Strowman. We take a look at the badges. I pointed him out in the last couple of videos. If you are somebody who grinds matches over and over and over for the My Faction Point grind, I have a video up if you want to check that out learn how to make the mfp it takes a lot of time but if you put in the time you can save for some packs he's got quick winner showman unscathed now that's a big deal because that will be an additional 150 my faction points at the end of the match if you can do the requirements for that is an incredible card for that reason and then on top of that i mean he has a diamond so the attributes are going to look nutty and they do 90s on arm power grapple offense 95 on the power submission offense that's wild that might be the highest in the game right now it might be 84 special, 90 on the finisher. So just a really, really good card. Um, the best card for grinding, 100%. We move on to this one. Probably the best live event reward in my faction history. I'm not just saying that. 40,000 my faction points is a lot. You need the Boston Connor, the Ty Schmidt DLC rewards. It's pretty easy. You do a table tag match once and you get the 40,000. I had to do it really quick before the video because I didn't believe it. I really didn't. I thought a zero was going to drop off. I'd get 4,000. <laughs> but no, it's 40,000, man. It's legit. Now we go to the upcoming tab. Isn't that bad of me? I just expect to get screwed, you know? <laughs> no, the 40,000 happened. It was sick. We move on to the upcoming tab. We have an Encore boss battle. Oh, yeah, man. Booker T is back. I don't have this one. I don't have the AJ. I did not open up the heat packs. So, I don't know. I might have to. I might have to. I missed out on Booker. I want him. He is a decent looking card. Badge is looking as so. And it's Booker T. Like, come on. Resiliency. He's got the attributes. We move on. We go down to the boss battle. Boss battles, you always need a card requirement from the current pack. So, the boss battle for SummerSlam, you need Brett the Hitman Heart to unlock the 93. Brett the Hitman Heart, is he good? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, top level wet blanket. That's like one of my favorite badges, especially for online play. He's got endurance, level three sting like it'd be heavy handed, level two pain train space invader. Level one, all we see it coming. Okay. All right, Brett, resiliency as a payback. You know his technical is going to be a rock star attribute. It is 85. What else we got, man? 85 stamina, movement speed. It's a good looking card. Lots of 85s down here. Recovery, finisher. We go down. Can you KO Nikita? You just need a SummerSlam card from your women's division. So we got 2,000 my faction points, 10 tokens, and then two. And then, oh, wait, they're different. We got one deluxe heat two and then one basic heat two. They are different. That's cool, man. I'm loving the uh, I'm loving some of these current live events. They're doing a better job, that's for damn sure. We got 1,500 my faction points, five tokens, two packs again, one of them being a deluxe, the other a basic. They are demastered packs. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for the video. Again, five likes, five thumbs ups, five people putting me over. I'm gonna go ahead and open those tonight. I mean, I picked up two cards for the collector's level. That is a solid deal. Wait, no, I can't do that to the viewers, man. I can't do that. I can't just show you myself buying the bags and not open at least one. Just one. Just open one for the video. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I don't want to mess that up. Let me go to the pack market and F it. I'm just going to open one. Let's do a singles. Let's do a singles. Purchase with my faction points. I am scared. Open now. So I'm going to open up 21 total. That's my favorite number. I feel like that's good luck. I feel like it's good luck, not for this pack, but maybe for the next. Reveal all. Oh, my, my. That was tough. That was a tough pack. Wow. Oh, no. I mean, I got 4,500 back for, for Zelina. Thank you, Zelina. I appreciate that. Uh, no, that's going to be it for the video. Now, I got to get out of here. I'm going to work on the next video. Get that up later tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up to put me over. Drop a comment below, subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.